It is so nice to wake up to a clean kitchen, oh my God. I don't know if you can even see me, but good morning, guys. It is about 8 a.m., maybe like half past now. I've just had a shower. I'm gonna head to a coffee shop this morning to edit the video that goes up today, which I need to get done this morning. I need to just like go and crank it out because I have got a very busy day. You're so excited. Come on then. Come to the table, please. There's a good boy. It's actually mine and Cam's anniversary today. We've been together for a whole year. I've never been in a relationship for a year before. So this is a whole new thing for me. I thought I would treat myself on our anniversary, being as I can't see Cam. And actually part of this is because I'm heading to Nashville in a couple of days as well. But today I have a pamper day. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm getting gel back on. It's just so much easier for when I'm traveling. Then I'm heading to get my hair done. I actually want it a little bit shorter. I don't like that it's flicking up on my shoulders. I want it to be above shoulder length. So I'm gonna go get that done. And then I'm getting my eyebrows done. So I'm gonna emerge at the end of this vlog looking like a whole different person. I actually can't wait. It's gonna be such a fun day. But before any of the fun starts, I need to get my work done. Today's outfit of the day, just got my charcoal jumper on from Pull and Bear. Warm fuzzy leggings. I've got the fur lined ones from Primark because it is cold today. I'm taking my trolley. So I've actually got a return to do in Primark and I don't want to be carrying that round until I get the chance to go there. I think it's a cozy Ugg boot kind of day. Jane says it's cold. These shoes are worth their weight in gold. I bought them for when I go to Austria and it snows but my god they are so comfy. And we're off. <laughs> I love dressing for winter. So cozy. This breaks my heart. I'll see you in a little bit, mister. You go pick a good spot to sleep. A real comfy one. I love you. I love you. See you in a bit, Poppet. Just done having my nails done. I will show you them in a second. If you're looking for a really good nail girl in Brighton, go to Leah. I will leave her details below. They look so good. I went for more of like a square shape this time, but now I'm just gonna head to Primark to do a return and H&M to do a return and then get my hair done. my mental breakdown any second <laughs> this is not what i asked for this is not what i want not entirely thriving not feeling wonderful kind of don't want to vlog the rest of the day cut my hair so much shorter than what I wanted and I'm really hoping that when I edit this clip I don't mind it <laughs> or I'm gonna end up having a little bit of a breakdown <laughs> I know it's just hair I need to chill but it wasn't meant to be this short the picture that I showed was this one on screen which was at least an inch longer it just like came over the shoulders I don't know how I've ended up with this also my nails didn't go to play what my brows did my brows look great but my nails are more square than i usually have them and I'm, after looking at them all day i don't think i like them i think you need long nail beds to have square 
nails and my nail beds are super tiny so they just look like they've been chopped off it just looks a bit odd but that can be fixed with a nail file i'm gonna go and file them a little bit make them a tiny bit rounder the hair i'm afraid is just gonna have to be like this until it grows but i think what i'm gonna do is either tonight or tomorrow wash it myself and style it myself and hopefully I'll like it more. I am that kind of person who never likes how the hairdresser does my hair. I don't think I've ever been to the hairdresser aside from my extension girl who might be getting a call. <laughs> and come out smiling like I genuinely don't think I ever have done that but it's usually okay the next day anyways I picked up some bits in town so I thought that I would show you take my mind off the hair first thing I got was a LucasAid spot because I'm feeling a little bit dizzy oh I also picked up some mac and cheese because I haven't had anything to eat today it's 3 22 I was getting the shakes because all I've had is a coffee and then a cup of tea so I'm like overloaded on caffeine this is some of the best mac and cheese I've ever had it's from Slim Chickens never tried there before there's actually some chicken in it as well let's do a boots haul so i got a tanning back applicator when i'm with cam she helps me tan my back but when i'm on my own it's so difficult so i thought i'd give this a go i got a couple of new makeup brushes so i got these two real techniques ones the ones that i've been using are quite old and they've been getting bristles on my face when i use them so real techniques are a trusty brand for me they don't tend to do that so i got the expert face brush for foundation and then the tapered cheek brush for contour and blush also picked up a double of my Real Techniques makeup sponges. The brushes were on three for two. I don't know where the other's gone, so we'll find that soon. Anyways, I got some more Estrid blades for my razor. And then I got an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I used to love this. We got two pairs of opaque tights from Primark. Oh, a fake tan to keep in Nashville, my Bondi Sands. This is the other brush that I got. This is a concealer brush. I really want a tiny one for concealer. And I got a NYX eyeliner liner the wonder pencil which you basically use on your tight line of your eye mine's been really red because i've been so tired recently so i thought that i'd get this and it would brighten my eyes up then everything else that i got is actually vegan treats for a christmas present so not gonna go into that we will see when i edit this if i have a breakdown or not if i carry on filming today that means i think my hair is okay so don't be mean to me please i need to style it myself i swear it will look better i think i'm trying to stay positive <laughs> I just looked at that footage. I don't know if the wide angle is making it look even worse. Let's try this angle. If I still hate it, rip me. Tina, my extension girl, I might be contacting you. Although I won't because I don't have the money for them right now. I'm gonna cry. At least I have mac and cheese. <laughs> oh. Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place of time above There's a song of love Travel Hello, hello, I am back on the wide angle lens. I need to get used to it, but the wide angle does nothing for this haircut. But anyways, we are on to the last present of the advent calendar. Some of you guys still ask me why I opened this advent calendar in November, and it is because I didn't think I was gonna film Vlogmas. And my mom loves to make me an advent calendar, but because she doesn't live with me, she loves when I film it so she can see me open every day. <sighs> so we decided to do it in November instead. 
prepared, which is good because I'm still not going to do Vlogmas, but I'm pretty certain I am going to commit to three videos a week in December. But anyways, this is number 24. It's the last one and it says, a bit of what you fancy does you good. And I'm not going to lie, it feels like chocolate. By the way, I have painted my toenails the exact same colour as my nails. I filed my nails to be a bit more round and I love them now. I have decanted my tablets into my tablet tubs ready for America and I've sorted out and found a home for all of the stuff that I bought today. So now tomorrow all I've got to do is pack my case. Well no that is not all I've got to do. I've got to <laughs> edit the vlog, edit the thumbnail, edit Q&A, edit thumbnail, pack suitcase, pack carry-on, try on all the outfits in those while also filming a vlog. Film two ads, edit two ads and send them. So that's what I've got to do tomorrow but at least I've ticked a couple things off the list. My toenails are nice and burgundy. This is indeed chocolate. I'm actually going to take this to America. Chocolate is one thing that I miss so bad when I'm there and I'm literally there for like two weeks, but I can't live without this stuff. So that is going straight in my suitcase. Thank you so much, mom, for this advent calendar. I've loved opening it. If you guys are watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, let me know who your favorite is this year. My favorite is Josie. I really hope she wins. I love Sam too. I love Fred. I actually like most of them. I've also been charging my gadgets. I got this new power bank and I charged it fully and I'm using it to charge my phone now because the last thing I want to do is take a power bank on the plane that doesn't work. This is working. I might link this one below actually. It seems really good. It's hard to find a power bank that will charge the Pro Max phones because they take up so much charge. But this apparently charges them two and a half times, which is the best I've found so far without it being super heavy. Anyways, I'm going to write my packing list now so that I'm all prepared for tomorrow. I'm getting quite nervous. I don't know why. I actually like flying days, but I think because I've been struggling to sleep so much it's just gonna be a long day just spent a little bit of time getting the room ready to pack tomorrow i use away luggage and to be honest i should probably clean it but this is the carry-on that offers more room as well because you can open it up if you need the space however when it's opened up it doesn't fit in the overhead lockers of most airlines so i would only do that if you're checking it then i have their large case which is this one and it also opens up a little bit bigger and then this is going to be my hand luggage this is something that i got from tiktok shop nelly you're so excited. I'm actually gonna fake tan and then head off to bed. I'm blocking this light because it is so bright. <laughs> but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about my hair. I do see potential now. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow and style it and see. But yeah, I do definitely see potential. Still not what I wanted, but you know, we move. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.